Hello YouTube, Proxy here, and this is another Ashes of Creation weekly update. So I was going to do this update sooner, but the eternal wait for the combat trailer to be publicly released is taking a little longer than expected. I have seen the original myself, and have to say the game's combat is looking visually good, with extremely unexpected mechanics. But I will talk about these things once you have all seen the combat footage for yourselves. Let's start off with the most important news, which is... That I got an alpha key. Yes, rain down with the jelly guys, because I'll be getting access to the closed alpha test, and I honestly can't wait to play. Make sure you guys sign off the Ashes of Creation website for a chance to get yours and increase your chances of selection by getting involved in the Ashes of Creation's community discord. You can use my referral link below or go directly to the website depending if you want to support my channel or not. So moving on to the real news. Intrepid Studios have been in talks with both Discord and Google regarding the project. This could mean that Ashes could get Discord integrated into the game using the GameBridge SDK. This is cool because that means we could all use our favourite Discord functions in-game, potentially including the voice channels as well as specially developed functions for the game. So if talks go well, that could be exceptionally awesome news. But wait, it gets better! If talks with Google also go well, this could mean Ashes could be hosted using Google's new cloud server tech, which means instead of small community servers, we could get one big server for each region, supporting a much larger population than most MMORPGs offer. Now that would be extremely awesome, right? But as always, talks are still going on, and these things might not come to pass, and are not confirmed to happen just yet. But nonetheless, it is exciting news. Also this week in the World of Ashes, we had some exclusive information released on the Discord. I cannot show you in the video what is there, but join the Discord and get involved and see the sneaky content leak for yourselves. Here's some concept art of an in-game mount, for example. This mount will be used to haul and store gathered goods as you explore large regions in-game. There is no name for it yet, but I will refer to it as the Llama Deer Camel until it gets an official name. Also, a huge amount of questions and answers have been responded to by Steven this week. I'm not going to read out the entire list because otherwise this quick news update will be 30 minutes long, so here's just a few to keep you updated. Siren asked, how will exploration work? Can we find hidden dungeons while exploring the world and get bonuses for completing them for the first time? Like double drop rate, XP, or something like that. Steven responded, we really want players to explore and we want them to be rewarded for finding things. And new things will spawn all the time in the world as areas get developed. So in short, yes. Error inquired about guild, will we be allowed to have custom emblems and custom ranks in the guilds. Steven replied, yes, the guild interface will have a great deal of customization. And finally, Pixie requested insight with, when did development begin? Like, when did you actually sit down with a crew and begin on Ashes of Creation? Steven enlightened us with, I began formulating the design theories in April 2014. We opened the office in December 2nd, 2015. We began pre-production with our development team end of February 2016. And our first employee was hired in December 2015. Well, that's it for this week's Q&A. If you want to see the full list, join the community Discord. I will most likely cover the combat video separately and hopefully we'll get to see the full version of it soon. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.